Welcome back to another cooking video. I'm Chef Sir Rhodes. We're going to teach you how to make the tunado roll. Now, tunado is a clever combination of the words tuna, unagi, and avocado, and it was coined up by someone on the Facebook page. If you also want to help name a roll or a sushi roll or something that I created in the future, then head over to the Facebook page and like it so that you can get updates. You can do so right now by clicking on the top left corner of your screen or in the description below. Now, uh, let's move on and make the tunado roll, which is just an awesome creation. It's got delicious stuff inside, like unagi, tuna, and avocado. I mean, what could go wrong? And then it's covered in a delicious, crunchy batter of tempura and fried to crispy. Okay, so let's get cooking. Let's go. You take an unagi fillet, this is a roasted eel, and just cut it in half lengthwise. Now you get these like this, they're frozen and cooked like this in Japan and then they're shipped around the world. Okay, so I'm just going to need half of it. If you want more information about it, click on the link on the top left corner of the screen. I'm just going to begin slicing just like this at an angle. The first cut is just to get the right angle and then you continue cutting these sashimi slices of unagi. Now you cut at a 45 degree angle to the board and a 45 degree angle to the actual piece to get this angular cut like this. And it's very difficult to cut because it's a very slippery, slimy eel. But it's so delicious, it's amazing. Okay, so cut the entire unagi piece or whatever you need and put it in the fridge until you need it. And now moving on to the roll. You take half a sheet of nori and you place a piece of tuna strip like this next to it and just cut it to size. Okay, and I'm just going to put the strip onto my nori. Like this. Okay, and now you take those unagi slices you cut before and you just put them onto your tuna piece. Alright, so I'm just going to take one and a half. So I'm just going to take one and cut this in half so that I don't have any waste. Okay, I'm just going to put that there. Now I'm going to turn this round so that I have the wider edge against the end so that it's uniform density throughout the roll. You don't want to have a lump in the middle or anything like that. Okay, now I'm just going to take some masago, which is seasoned captain fish roe, and just place it across like this. If you want to know more about masago, click on the link on the top left corner of your screen right now. And I'm just adding a slice of avocado. Okay. And two slices of paprika or red bell pepper, depending on where you're from. And now to roll. Just bring it over and curl it over the ingredients and tightly press them in with your fingers then continuing to roll forwards until you get close to the end. Once you get close to the end, you take some more of that masago and just place it on the end. It won't completely seal it, but it will add some moisture and that will help the nori close together better. All right, so I'm just gonna roll it and rest it over that seal. Okay, while it's resting, I'm just gonna cut the edges off because I don't want the tempura batter to get into a crevice and then have a big lump of uncooked tempura batter. So I'm cutting the edges off the roll so that I have a flush surface all the way around that the batter can just evenly cover and there's no crevices for it to gain. Alright, so just put this to one side. Alright, so now to make the tempura batter mix. First we're going to do a liquid mix and you're going to put this into the fridge and leave it overnight. So technically you should do this the day before, just to cool down. The first thing you add is 110 grams of water or 110 milliliters and then you add 20 grams of vodka. Now what the vodka does is it lowers the boiling point of the mixture and it creates a bigger reaction in the deep fryer. So that's how you get more puffiness out of it. Okay, so once you've added that, you add 30 grams of sake. Now sake is a sweet Japanese rice wine and it also has a little bit of alcoholic content which also lowers the boiling point of the mixture. Okay, so once you've done that, you mix it all together and you leave it in the fridge to cool down overnight. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some tempura batter mix, which I've also left in the fridge to cool down overnight. And then I'm just going to place it into a bowl. Now, tempura batter mix is very simple. It's just rice flour, flour and baking powder. But it's just much easier to buy the mix than it is to make it yourself to get the same result. Okay, so I'm just going to add the liquid into it. You want to have a ratio of 100 grams of tempura batter mix to 125 grams of liquid mix. You want to softly mix it together. You don't want to get rid of all the clumps. You want to have a couple clumps that will blow up and do some interesting things in the deep fryer. 
Now if you want to get the same tempura batter mix, then click on the top left corner of your screen to get that. Alright, so once the batter is mixed up just like this, now you take your roll and you place it in and you get it nice and evenly covered. Chopsticks are great for this because it doesn't get bogged down. Place in a deep fryer at 190 degrees Celsius and cook it for 45 seconds to a minute. You just want to get it so it's nice and crispy all the way around and just slightly warm on the inside. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it out, place it on some paper towels and I suggest you move it over once in a while because moisture can get in between the food and the paper towel and make it a bit soggy. So keep it moving. Alright, I'm just going to cut off the edges just for some nice presentation. And then I'm going to cut this roll into three parts. There we go. Now put this to one side just to play it up. I'm just going to do a very simple presentation, just some shredded daikon. And then I'm going to put the three pieces of the tunado roll, followed by a little bit of pickled ginger and just like you would with your sushi dish, a little bit of wasabi. And maybe I'll have a little plate of soy just to dip it in if I feel like it. You know what would go great on this? Some teriyaki sauce. Look at that beautiful teriyaki sauce, that's just amazing stuff. If you want to learn how to make that sauce, then check out the link on the top left corner of your screen right now, which will take you to my website where you'll learn how to make that amazing teriyaki glaze. Okay, so I just guess I'll just try one. That's just amazing. That's all I have to say about it. I mean, it's just delicious. Uh, you have to give this a try at home. You won't be disappointed. So I guess this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and share button somewhere down there. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the top left corner of your screen. Now, if you want to check out, if you want to have some of the products that I used inside my video, like the chopsticks and the deep fryer and whatnot and all that sort of stuff, then check out the links on the top right corner of your screen. There's a little I button, you press it and then it drops down with all the information. Also, if you want to check out all my other videos, you can do so right now by clicking on the right. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chesterville. See you guys next week.